Hello, it's me Hadin Gusiak. I'd like you today share some ideas with you. We live in time where we try to move from 2D into BIM. It is fascinating time for our engineers and designers. We're trying to achieve 1, 2, 3D, 4D, time, cost and so on. I think this number will just increase in the near future. And I came across this survey. It was very interesting, Paul. And uh, but I think th some point was missing. The question was, what is your favorite energy modeling interface? However, if we end up in the beam, the question should be how good we are integrated with beam, integrated with Dynamo Challenge. I would like you to invite every and all of you to start integration for all tools. Development currently is very slow and I want to change it. Which is the best integrated tool with Beam? And I hope that everyone will start uh, to challenge me and more and more tools will be well integrated with Revit. So here we go. I was sitting at my desk, marking the Queen Bee, and I was thinking, where should I start? I love Honeybee, but my good friend Mustafa already took the name for Honeybee, so I was not very happy. Mustafa was the first one, and also my daughter is a big fan of his plugin. She's the fairy tale for this uh, tool, so I say, oh, this will be a difficult one. I was thinking about the many different names, but let's start first. So I set up the team of myself and uh, my good friend Jakub Zhukowski. And the 1st of May during the bank holiday, we sat together and we decided to set up a very cool tool. However, I was thinking about the name and this was for me the biggest challenge. All of those were already used and I was so angry that I couldn't use the honeybee. And the day came to me and this was important turn in ho all this story. So Tasmanian Devil Beam was born. Tasmanian Devil is just combining the two software TAS and, and Dynamo. It's just the plugin for the Dynamo to use TAS. Uh, at the moment we can use Dynamo to control TAS on its own or we can use through Revit where we can actually exchange the data from Revit directly. So there are the two possibilities. Structure is very simple. We have the TAS or Tasmanian Devil. Let's see how this will end up. And we have the free um, subfolder T3D, which is 3D modeler. TBD file, which is building simulator, is the place where we set up all internal condition assumption. And then we once we start the simulation, we have TSD file, which is result viewer. The first file is just used for the 3D geometry and uh, export for shading. So let's see the basic code. It is very simple. We just select file path. Once we have file path, we open the document. Once we open document, we select building. Once we have the building, we get the zones. And from the zones, we can select whatever we want. In this example, I just took the names and the uh, note, which is checking if the zones are used. And here is example from the task. We can see we have um, five zones. Those are all names and the tick box within the task to show if it is used or not. And this is exactly matching because obviously we read the same file. So here is just the display of a basic approach. Idea is to get from the clean geometry. So here we have just a few walls into detailed information. So our end product should be a um, fully um, described uh, model with all the data like lighting load, equipment, occupancy, all the internal, external dynamic data like solar gain, building in transfer, 
external conduction, glazing opaque, air movement gain, infiltration, and this kind of generic data like the hour of peak, um, cooling load, dry bulb temperature, resultant temperature, uh, relative humidity, and so on. Here we are. The same devil beam is born, and uh, here's the link to the Facebook uh, website. So thank you very much for your attention. Tasmanian Devil for Beam is now available through uh, Dynamo uh, Package Manager. Come and I hope the challenge will be uh, successful. Uh, Hanabi, as the Tasmanian Devil was born, let's become friends and uh, hope that our uh, cooperation will be successful in future. All the best to everyone and thank you very much. So, the Slovenian Devil for Beam is now officially launched. I decided to add special section about Tasmanian Devil. They are amazing cute animals and Tasmanian Devil are marsupial carnivore. They are opportunistic predators and forgers, not hunters. Unfortunately, they are facing now very hard time. They have been listed as uh, extinct by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature and in 1996 DFTD was detected. It is devil fascial tumor disease. This is transmissible parasitic cancer that kills within one year from infection. Terrible and fatal disease that caused 90% population decline since a discovery. And uh, I came across uh, Devil Ark. This is the preservation project targeting Tasmanian Devil. This is a non-profit organization, so please, please support them and help. Uh, you can find here the uh, website. This is the non-profit organization, so please, please uh, help them and support. Uh, and I'm planning to donate today um, 30 uh, dollars and I hope you can also um, help and support them to make sure that Tasmanian Devil will not disappear from our um, environment. Thank you uh, very much and once again please help and support them.